In Microsoft Word 2010, it's easy to quickly change the basic style of the document that you're working on. If you've already applied headings and subheadings, as I have here in this document, simply make sure that you're on the Home tab and go to the Change Styles icon. When you click the little down arrow, on the you get a style set at the top, and here, as you hover, over each of the default styles you can see how your document will look using any one of them. Now until you click the style won't actually be applied but it's a great way to change the overall look and feel of your document without having to set up any styles yourself. Now here I've chosen the distinctive style. If I wanted to change that back to the default Microsoft Word 2010 style, once again I can click on Change Styles, go to Style Set, and choose Word 2010. Now there are other options in here. Colors. You can choose a different base color for the style that you have chosen. Again, there's very many groups from which you can choose. And the next option down is fonts. Again, it's the same basic style, but you're changing the fonts associated. And then paragraph spacing is also something that you can control. This uh, final double spacing is perfect for essays. You can compose your essay in standard single spaced style to make it easier for you to read and edit. But when you're done and before you hand it in, choose that double spacing. And, uh, you know, barring other considerations that may be required by your teacher or professor, uh, it'll be ready to go. So that's a quick introduction to the Change Styles feature in Microsoft Word 2010. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the Help Video Guru channel on YouTube.